questions for Mr. Scott? Please ask me questions. Come on. What's up? Um, well, I have two questions. Um, what is, I'm trying to wrap my head around the little nanophosphate versus the regular uh, lithium phosphate battery. And what is the difference physically um, between those two batteries? Um, like, do you add nanoparticles and nano? I can't give you an extremely scientific explanation of it because I just don't know. But what I do know is that, yes, compared to the uh, generic life uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, these are using uh, nanotechnology so that there is more surface area for the chemical reaction. Having that surface area there, it allows for quicker charge times and higher discharge rates. So that is one, and, and also the lower internal resistance, so you have longer cycle life. And, and actually, I even, didn't even talk about it. It has an extremely low self-discharge rate, such as like alkaline batteries, you, you don't have to worry, you can, they have a high storage life. Same with these batteries, even though they're rechargeable, compared to nickel metal hydride, those will you know, die off in a couple months, these will go for a year or so. Um, those that, that, the discharge, the one of discharge, they'll go back to that graph. Uh -huh. The one of discharge, it looks like it's, um, the voltage is increasing as time uh, passes by, the, the one of. It seems to be going down pretty steadily. If you're talking about the uh, green line right here. No, no, no. So what about that, that line? Oh, yeah, this is the charge. This is a charging oh, curve. Oh, okay. I, okay. Sorry if I didn't explain that enough. Yeah, that's a charging curve, oh, and you can compare that. that to the one amp discharge for efficiency. Ron. Uh, can you go to the internal resistance uh, page? Yeah. Thank you. Um, now, you said that you had a um, resistive circuit a certain resistor in there, yep. and also you said that the battery would have some sort of internal resistance. It has its own internal resistance and the voltage that it's producing, yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, my question is, uh, you said you found out the resistance of the, of the actual resistor you applied to the circuit um, by using the known internal resistance of the battery. Yeah, we, uh, I pulled the internal resistance off the data sheet. Of the How can you do that if it's possible that the internal resistance of the battery isn't actually what it uh, what what the data sheet tells you. Honestly, I just had to. I, I think you're asking um, is whether or not I can trust what the manufacturer stated. That is um, one thing I was testing. I I wouldn't I won't say that my methods were uh, the most accurate because uh, it was difficult to find a an extremely small resistor that could handle um, such a, such a high wattage going through because the smaller I mean V equals I R the smaller your resistor is the more the current is going through it at the same voltage. So it, it was already hard enough for me to find these large one ohm resistors. So um, uh, I mean, I, w I don't know if I can exactly say that my methods are better, but I mean, it was a good approximation just to uh, get a general idea. Hopefully into the future, I'll look into more accurate ways of determining internal resistance, uh, such as uh, there's an AC method uh, that I just don't think, I'm not sure if we have the equipment to do it. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was just my only question. How could you trust that the results were actually accurate? Oh, I mean, and in terms of results being accurate, my cell phone battery was rated at 3,200 milliamp hours. It only came out to 22. I bought it off eBay, straight out of China. So there was one point where you could say that the manufacturer was wrong. Okay, thank you. They're being used right now. Actually, the, um, that, that's the lithium iron nanophosphate cell right there. They're not available to the general public. The, 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 uh, the company's trying to get them marketed out to large companies. I had to, pull, I had to uh, take apart a uh, DeWalt 36 volt uh, battery pack to get that, because a couple years ago they, they, uh, they leased their technology out to them. And they're also trying to get a deal with GM. I don't know if it went through, but they're not commercially available yet, but you can get them if you're crafty. But uh, you know, we're hopefully gonna get there eventually.